Do you think if you would have studied the same subject, same course in an uh, Hochschule, life would be different? What area or a domain you would look for your job? How many uh, LORs did you give? Do you think if you would have only applied bases on your bachelor's, you would have got here? What's your one message do you want to give to all those students who are watching us right now? Alright guys, so welcome back once again. I am here with what's your name? Uh, Subhendu Biswal. Uh, Subhendu, what are you studying right now? Uh, I am doing my master's in AI. It's been how long that you're here now? Uh, it's been seven months. How's it feeling? Good, good, good. Good city. Fun? Yeah. Ah, nice. Before, how many universities have you applied to? Uh, I had applied around eight universities. Eight? Yeah. How many have you admission? Six. Wow, yar. Apna background batana India mein kya kya kiya? I have done my bachelor's in mathematics and after that I have completed my master's in computer science. It's my second master's here. Oh, wow. Okay, bachelor's in computer Ma- mathematics. Bachelor's in mathematics yeah. aur uska master's in computer, computer science, science kiya India mein yeah. aur ek aur master's yahan bhi kar rahe. Yeah. Because AI is uh, related to mathematics and computer science. Right. But usually when you look at your classmates, majorly unhone to nahi kiya hoga na master's past mein. Uh, kuch kiye hain kuch kuch karke aaye hain. But majorly logon ne nahi kiya. Majorly nahi kiya. Sir BTEC se फॉरगेट अब All two or three universities. Okay. That was the applied sciences universities. Okay. Okay. And uh, when you look at the job market right now, how is the job market for AI? Yeah, it's like booming. You will get uh, an internship easily if you have the knowledge of your core subjects and of course the German language at least B1 or B2. So it will uh, very easy to get a job here because it's near to Berlin. So in Berlin, a lot of internships are openings nowadays. Yeah. So you will get a job. And uh, when it comes to technical skills. what are the important aspect one should know when it comes to ai okay it's like uh, it depends okay i mean in ai there is uh, two ways the one is data science one is uh, medical sciences courses are there so if you want to go with data science then you have to do your well in mathematics and python and any uh, one programming language is basically python or r and you know, of course mathematics and data warehouse data mining uh, okay yeah how prepared have you been when it comes to finances kitni taiyari karke aaye Yeah, it was like the block account, the eleven thousand four hundred twenty euros. And that's it. So, how much contribution did you get? Ah, three sixty, three forty one euros. Three forty one. Yeah. And how many semester of course? Ah, it's like four semester. Okay. Two years. Okay. Yeah. Do you think BTU as a university is a good university to study? Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a great university because it's very professionalized. Okay. So you will do a lot of courses here, and you can do what you want here. There is no mandatory courses you have to do. You have to take. Like uh, there is a, some buckets there, so you have to choose courses from there. Okay. Right. So it's a very personalized university. Can we talk a little bit about specializations? Ah uh, yeah, sure. So what mean, are the specializations you said? In AI, there is two specializations for now. The one is uh, medical science. I mean AI in medical sciences. Okay, mm-hmm. it's like the neuroscience or uh, computational neuroscience, and sensory motor that kind of things. And another one is in mathematics or data sciences. And what's the name of the full course? What you're studying? Masters of Science in Artificial Intelligence. Okay. Is a it's a research oriented course. Ah okay. Yeah. Do you think if you would have studied the same subject, same course in an uh, Hochschule, life would be different? I don't know. Hochschule means applied sciences. Uh, I don't know because my target was mainly for uh, technical universities. अच्छा. Okay. That's why I did not go for. क्या करना है इसके बाद क्या करना है फिर? I have two plans. Okay, if I secure a good job here, then I will go for it. Otherwise, I have the options to go with a PhD. Okay. In data science. Yeah. And where is the application for BTU from? Which I, platform? Uh, it's in Uniassist. Uniassist. Yeah. Huh? Did you do your own application? Ah uh, yes. For Uh, all the eight applications, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like uh, three of them uh, are uh, through UniAssist and five they are directly to universities. Somebody may not know what is UniAssist. So, so, थोड़ा बताओ. Uh, UniAssist is like a third party, uh, I mean, application. Uh, it's collect your application from you and it will send your application to the university. Right. It's after verification and that's the thing. Okay. So you have to submit your application in the UniAssist portal. So you have to pay the UniAssist fee. Then you will direct receive the admission letter or the rejection letter from the university itself imagine that you graduate and you are looking for a full time job right what area or a domain you would 
would look for your job yeah of course data science i'll be a yeah, data scientist or data analyst but when it comes to industry right alag alag okay. industries it's like any type of bank industry or uh, i mean research field research institutes it's like the mnc is like facebook meta or netflix nice yeah because data science is like a very a uh, huge field nowadays so every every company wants data science collect the data and clear the data so okay do you think as the days are going by it, it is getting tough to get into german universities especially in the field of ai data science computer uh, yeah. science yeah nowadays because of the recent uh, recent issues in canada and australia so nowadays everyone wants to come to germany and the university application process is a little bit diff- i mean uh, difficult because uh, in germany there are some limited places okay it's not like though there are unlimited places yeah so it's a limited places so it's like a little bit difficult it's not that difficult but Talk a little bit about admission process yeah. how many uh, lors did you give two two yeah and uh, who was that from uh, my one of my hod from my bachelor's university and my dean from my master's university acha no you don't have any work experience no. you graduated from your yeah. master's in india and then you came directly yeah, i graduated from uh, in the uh, year of 2023 and i came here in the 2023 Do you think if you would have only applied bases on your bachelor's you would have got here of course to master's jo spe- in- no uh, it's like specifically i got all the admissions from the german institute six admissions on the uh, basis of my bachelor's only yeah. there is no role of my master's they don't care about my master's okay they only care about the bachelor's okay mm-hmm. if you meet the minimum criteria and your gpa is good mm-hmm. then they will give you the admission it's like uh, i heard that before coming to germany that the work experience or your master's degree play a role but i don't believe in that if your bachelor's degree is good and you have a secured a good gpa then they will give the admissions and the most important thing is the modules okay i mean in german universities they need some modules to complete it in their bachelor's okay mm. if you did not complete that module in your bachelor's they will not give you the admission what's your one message do you want to give to all those students who are watching us right now do the application by yourself do the research there are a lot of our youtubers like you and all other youtubers they provide the information by day to day so look at them videos so and do the application process by yourself you'll get the admission it's very easy Okay. So, having said that, make sure that you do your own application, and I think more than that, it's very important that to figure out the career path you want to take. Because at times, I've also met students who have just come here, but उनको पता नहीं क्या करना है. At least. Uh, avoid being in that situation because you have a very limited time when you come to germany to figure out exactly what you want to do having said that make sure that you check the description of this video or agar video pasand aaya to aapko like karna and see you guys next time bye bye